Hey everyone, Sophia here from migratechallenge.blogspot.com. It's 4.52 in the afternoon. I just got back from a training. I'm still sick, but I have to make dinner. So tonight we're going to make curry in a hurry, which is basically a curry dish that I have to make super fast. And today I am making pork loin ribs with apples and curry. And this is something that I've showcased as a picture on my Facebook page and everybody asked me for a recipe for it. So there it goes. These are the family package for bone-in pork loin ribs. So you can do it with beef as well, but we prefer the pork one. So I have two big packages, so it's gonna really, really fill up the crock pot. I have two onions, three apples. You can pick any you want, um, usually the Cortland and the uh, Macintosh, these are Empire apples, are the best. Don't use Rest Delicious, don't use the uh, uh, Golden Delicious. These are too powdery, they'll completely fall apart. So you want a crisp, tart apple to do this. And then you have parsley, cumin, and of course, hot curry. Now, I'm one proponent of waste not, want not. So if you watch my last video for the chicken noodle soup, I did freeze some of the leftover veggies that I had and I wanted to keep it for stock. I pulled out just a tiny bit of it, it's just a little bit of carrot, a little bit of celery and a little bit of um, leeks. And I'm just going to add it to the dish for an extra layer of flavor, but really you don't have to. This is like totally optional. The last time I did it, it was just the meat, the onion, the apple and the spices. That was it. That's all you need. So let me start as always with chopping these right here and then we'll do the um, crock pot. I'm going to let it cook for four hours on high. Okay, you ready? This is the simplest recipe ever for the crock pot. First ingredient in the pot are the onions. So I've just chopped the onions. They're not, um, you know, coarse or uh, too fine. They're just regular. Um, I'm putting them at the bottom right here of my crock pot. I'm adding the leeks, carrots, and celery from my last recipe. Again, this is optional. You totally don't have to. I'm only doing it for extra taste. First layer of cumin, just a tiny bit. You don't want too much. First layer of curry, just a little bit. And my first layer of parsley. And I'm just going to go ahead and add my first layer of ribs. So I just position them directly onto the vegetables like this. They can touch, that's fine. And I can fit one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to add a seventh one this way. All right. I'm going to add another layer of cumin. Not too much. You see, I'm just sprinkling it a little bit. This doesn't count as a rub. It's just for flavor. That's it. A little bit of the curry. Another layer of parsley. And to this first layer of ribs, I'm just going to go ahead and add apples and I've just cored them that's it I kept the skin um, because it keeps the apples intact I just add them like this over the ribs right and I'm ready to add my second layer of ribs two three four five I'm going to add one more, like this. So now guess what? One more layer of spices. Parsley, you don't have to put them in any specific order. Cumin. And curry. 
I do have some apple left so I'm just gonna fill in whatever gap I have with apples here and there and that's it just cover it and I'm going to put it on high for four hours it will be done by time we go for dinner so now I have two pieces of rib right here that I have left and again waste not want not they're going into a Ziploc bag straight into the freezer the next time I make gravy or I make any kind of sauce I will braise the uh, ribs and um, that I have here and use them for the stock now if you wanted to be really ambitious and you had a little bit more time uh, remember I just got back from work and I'm trying to help you guys with your home management because I know I'm struggling in that area myself so if you really wanted to be a little bit more ambitious you could brace those before you put them in the pot uh, at that point you would probably need to cook them about 35 to 40 minutes less and it would definitely add a little bit of a crunchy flavor to the ribs themselves but I've tried them like this in this method and they're perfectly fine they were falling off the bone delicious so now I have a crock pot this is the new one from crock pot that uh, locks like this you do not use the lock while cooking you only use it for transport so I put it like this on the uh, top so you know I remember but this one has a very good lid so what happens is that they are, there's a good seal on it so it creates a lot of steam while it's cooking so there's going to be a lot of natural juice at the bottom of this pot and uh, while this is cooking and it's going to keep the ribs nice and moist they're not going to come out all dried up sometimes you put a, uh, a whole pork loin or a whole roast beef inside the crock pot and it turns out to be like just so dry it's because your crock pot probably doesn't have the right type of seal so if that happens to you my recommendation is to do what i used to do with my other crock pot which was to add a layer of aluminum foil and put the lid over it just to seal it completely so this is just going to cook for now three hours and 58 minutes um i will show you what they look like when i'm done i'm probably going to serve them over rice and a little bit of vegetables because i have some swiss chards but i'm not going to cook that recipe i just wanted to show you this easy crock pot recipe so i'll see you in a second which in real time is going to be four hours or so and you can see what the ribs look like and here we go it's been four hours that the ribs have been cooking in there it smells delicious and yep they are done so let me show you what they look like so if you wanted to you could definitely let them cook longer at four hours they are cooked um, they're not falling off the bone if you leave them um, in the uh, crock pot for another two hours they definitely will be falling off the bone I personally like mine a little bit crunchy let me taste it mm, it's delicious you can serve them just like that with the apples and I also have some um, these are sweet peppers that I've just sauteed at a very low heat with some garlic and onions that they've been cooking pretty much for two and a half hours um, in my cast iron pan so you see they're very very soft so you can also put those in a baguette sandwich with some of the meat and the apples and you would have a absolute delicious and complete meal so these were my apple and curry ribs again four hours is what it takes to cook them if you want them to fall off the bones you want to cook them another two hours on high so that would be for a total of six and this is what they look like in the pot I'm very happy with this I love the taste of pork with curry and apples I think it's a very very good uh, combination together so I just showed you what they look like after you cook them for four hours and this is what they look like after you cook them for six hours so you see they totally fall off the bone so it's of course a much better rib when it's six hours than it would be if it was four hours but sometimes you just don't have the time like tonight i didn't have the time to cook them for more than four hours otherwise i would have been eating at 11 o'clock at night so six hours is a better time four hours is just cooked um they are going to be a little bit tough 
but if you have the time to do it for six hours they will literally fall off the bone and that's the preferred temperature for your ribs all right so this was sophia for my great challenge .blogspot.com. give me a thumbs up if you like this video subscribe if you're new and i'll talk to you later bye